Uh-huh. Let's music in from Dua Lipa right here on Y98.7 MJ with you. Let's get into more entertainment news brought to you by KFC Nassau. And all right, so it's been a while since we've seen Tom Cruise, right? In, you know, outside of his movies. Well, he was spotted at a Dodgers game the other day. And now people are starting to say that perhaps he's had some plastic surgery because his cheeks looked a little puffy. I Listen. I think that he probably has had a little something, something done. But, you know, he's been a a leading man and an action star for so long that it wouldn't surprise me at all if he kind of nipped and tucked. Speaking of celebrities uh, being a little bit off, Holly Robinson Peach, she's ticked off at Air Canada. Apparently, they refused to allow her two teenage sons on a flight because they couldn't produce the credit card used to pay for the ticket. Holly had paid for it. And I got to say that that is one of the airline policies that I find to be really just, you know, totally unnecessary at times. Anyway, we'll see how Air Canada responds. Sharon Osbourne, she's on the warpath. She's slamming her former bosses over there at the talk, calling them weak women with no backbone for not defending her against the allegations of racism that led to her departure from the show. Listen, uh, Sharon went out there caping for Pierce Morgan, so... Yep, that's the way the crumpet crumbles sometimes. Kenya Moore, she's also in the news. Apparently, she thought she broke her ribs while she was on Disney uh, performing for Dancing with the Stars earlier this week. She hasn't broken her ribs, but uh, apparently she's suffering from an injury. And from Kenya to Kanye, uh, Kanye West is selling his massive Wyoming ranch. Apparently, it's on the market for $11 million, which means that he is going to take a loss on it, but maybe he thinks it's time to move on. The Rolling Stones are also moving on. They've retired one of their most famous popular rock songs. It's called Brown Sugar because of the lyrics. You know, it talks about the horrors of slavery. So, yeah, it's a popular song, but I think it's a past this use by day. Coachella attendees, they will no longer be required to be vaccinated against the coronavirus to get entry into Coachella. Apparently now you just need to have a negative COVID test within 72 hours of arrival. And finally, I've been talking about it all morning because I'm so excited for it. Uh, Yeah, William Shatner, a.k.a. Captain James T. Kirk, has boldly gone where very few humans have gone before. He went into space this morning on Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, New Shepard, and now he's back down on Earth. He's giving interviews. He's really excited about it. I'm excited for him. So congratulations to him. Good stuff there for a Blue Origin as well. All right, that's a wrap on our entertainment news. Don't forget, it's being brought to you by KFC Nassau. And don't forget to check out their saucy, delicious wings.